Mm. Hit them with it. One time. What's up, everybody? Rich Cage 20 here. I don't know what that was, but, you know, when I push that button and the camera turns on, I just it just surges through me. I just have fun with it. You know what's up. It's ginger time on the micro album. Today we got teacher, teacher. Except for with, with R's in it, but I just decided, nah, fuck that. Uh, teacher, teacher today. Uh, I read through the lyrics a little bit. I shouldn't say a little bit. I read through all of the lyrics, so that, how would that be a little bit? Because um, at first, as I mentioned in the other song, that it seemed like it was kind of more like Sunday school, Bible, kind of uh, religious school kind of stuff. But that's only like the first couple of lines here. Then it kind of, it kind of starts bleeding into just kind of like teachers and school in general. So I think that that's cool. Uh, I'm going to probably have a lot of shit to say about this, being a teacher. If y'all did not know that, I am actually a licensed teacher with a teaching degree. Um, I know, right? Who would let me teach? <laughs> Who would let me teach kids? You're crazy. Um, no, uh, I have, I've actually been teaching for a couple years. Uh, about four now, I think. Um, I've only been substitute teaching. I don't actually uh, teach, teach. Um, yet. Uh, mostly because I'm not really in a hurry. Uh, give it a couple years, I'll probably find a place to hold down in. But right now, I kind of like that I can just give people's kids back to them at the end of the day. It's kind of like when you babysit someone else's kids. It's fun, and then when it's not fun, you can give them back. <laughs> uh, you still get uh, you still get paid decent money. You know, obviously it's not great meds teacher, but you know. I can pay decent money, and then I don't have to actually be responsible for the kids at the end of the day. It's pretty good. I don't have to do a lot of the work. I just show up. <laughs> But anyways, uh, so as a teacher, I'm going to have some choice words for this song. But we're going to get to that after the song. I want to listen to the song first. I want to see how she takes this. What energy she puts into this song first. And then we'll discuss it. And if you don't know me, I am definitely one for uh, leading you down the wrong trail. And then flipping it on you at the end. So make sure you check out at the end of the song. Well, not the end of the video, but the end after the song, because uh, that might not mean what you think it means. Misdirection. I'm just going to hold this pose for a little bit. Teacher, Teacher by Ginger. The official video, I think it's, as I mentioned before, I think it's just like, uh, just another. To where it's like a live video, but the studio, it's studio sound quality. It's, it's, the audio is recorded in the studio, but it's a, it's a, it's a live video video performance kind of thing which i think is a cool crossover that's kind of really cool you get best of both worlds really in that scenario and i think that's fucking awesome so let's enjoy Just made me fools too. When the prejudice 
Give me a second here. One more thing to write down here. Got it. Fuck, man. What the shit just happened there? Oh, man. I. You know what? I'm going <clears> to... <throat> yeah, I'll yeah. get closer. I can't really, but like you need to get closer. <laughs> it's important. Trust me. You're going to want to go get your snacks, your popcorn, your chips, your candy, whatever you like to snack on. You're going to want to go get it. You want to go get some drink, too. Whether you're coming home chilling from work, you need a beer or something, maybe a little something harder. I don't know. I don't judge. Just like, don't go crazy with it now. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of alcohol, so don't go crazy with it. Uh, soda, my beverage of choice, water, whatever you need to get right. You're gonna want to go grab now. You're gonna want to pause this. You're gonna go grab now because this is gonna be a long one. I'm just like I. It's ten minutes in ATM, and I already know this is it's gonna be a fucking long one. Like we're talking forty minimum. I'm calling it now forty minimum. So you're gonna want to go get your drinks and your snacks and your shit. Come back when you write and ready to get into this. Okay, let me. Okay, break. You can go. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> I got a lot. I got a big chunk of shit written down here because they just, they just stuff kept happening. They kept switching shit up on me. <laughs> what I was expecting them to do, just thinking like, oh, from what I've heard from Ginger before, I expect this to be like this, and then it was just the opposite. And I was just like, whoa. And then it just somehow kept getting more and more beautiful, and passionate, and just gorgeous. And then there were just some heavy parts in there. And then the end switch up, it whole like honestly, like I, I was very surprised when I first heard Ginger Ever, which was Pisces, of course, because that's almost. I feel like recently, ever since that the live session came out, it's almost everyone's first exposure to Ginger. Almost not everyone's. 
Um, I was blown away with that one. Um, I speak astronomy. The, the the this audio of it, the video video was good, but it just it threw me through a loop at first. If you watch that video, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was very impressed by the ending of that one. That blew me away. The whole video, excuse me, the video song combo of Sit Stay Roll Over was just mind blowing as well. I think this song might, I, I'm not 100% positive, I don't want to make no claims yet, but this one might have topped all of those. <laughs> like, there was, there was so much happening here, I don't know, the end of Seek Astronomy, I just like to cut out the eye, ah, it's faster. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if you can beat that one yet, I don't know if we can beat that one yet, that's still pretty fucking, that's still, that's still mind-blowing. Like, every time I hear it, I feel something. Um, so, I don't know if we can go that far yet, but this is an impressive fucking song. Like, this is an impressive fucking song. Right here. Alright, before we get back into that, though, let me, let me share my viewpoint on this as that teacher teacher. Um on here so the first part like i've i've only heard like a few stories from comedians and whatnot I, I don't remember his name uh i can't remember his name the very i don't know if he's hispanic he's definitely italian <laughs> or just new york in general um i don't know <laughs> There's a, a a comedian. Uh, I've, I've listened to his story about when he was in like a Catholic school. That's what's called now, a religion school, uh, Catholic school, um, with like nuns that would whoop the shit out of him, and there was nothing their parents could do because it was by the name of God or some shit like that. Uh, and and the story of where he all, pretty much almost killed the fucking nun, <laughs> like he almost beat the nun to fucking death, um, which sounds fucking gruesome. It's a hilarious story. But the subject matter of it is pretty crazy, uh, to be honest. Uh, but he told it in a very funny way. Uh, <laughs> and kind of, it sounded like the nun had it coming. I'm just all, all I'm going to say. It sounded like the nun had it coming. She was beating kids like she needed to beat herself. That's all I'm saying. Um, so I've never experienced that myself. I've never seen it. So I don't know the crazy shit that goes down in Catholic school. Uh, that the first part of this talks about so we're just gonna skip over that because I, I ain't got i got no experience with that the rest of this when we when we come down to it let's go to the uh let's go down to the, the start of the chorus here um you know don't let school make a fool of you because the teachers may be fools too now we want to think right that teachers are these pillars of um How's the word I'm looking for? Uh, of 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 uh, of virtue, and these perfect human beings, right? Like because they're supposed to teach us, they should know everything and be normal, functioning human beings, right? <laughs> uh, in theory, no, definitely not. Uh, in theory, yes been to practice no um now i pers i've heard many stories especially from the game grumps of teachers that were just fucking crazy that 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 just like told kids that they would amount to nothing they would never be anything uh tearing up their hard-earned work or not earned but hard work and stuff instead of you know praising them for like hey you know you do amazing that's like an amazing picture like let's let's find a way to take what you like and incorporate that in how you can learn this new subject matter instead of being a good teacher <laughs> just being like hey you weren't listening i'm gonna rip up your drawing like i've never experienced that personally the craziest thing i say the two craziest events that i've ever witnessed as uh, one was a teacher like this one very crazy he was just crazy himself a little bit he still works at that school i've i've Again, subbed at the school that I used to go to, and he still works there. I don't know how. But there's this teacher, biology teacher, right? A scientist that, very religious, which odd, automatically that's kind of, <laughs> that's silly right out the gate. A scientist that's also religious. It happens. 
there are I think there's like a whole group of people of scientists that ba- have bound together started their own group of religious scientists but it just in general it feels like it's an oxymoron like that that shouldn't exist <sighs> But let's move past that. Um, so every time we would get to evolution, he would make a big scene about how, but like, okay, legally I have to teach you this stuff. And he would be like, like this is a stupid, silly theory because truly God made everything. It's like, I don't know how he had his job or how he ever had a job. Um, <laughs> but moving past... But besides that, the only crazy event back when I was in middle school, we had this. Uh, I had this, this this female teacher. She was she was a Jewish teacher. It's not really important. Uh, I just remember that she was very proud of being Jewish, and that was like the only thing I really remember her as. Uh, but she wasn't like a stereotypical Jew, Jewish person. You would never know that she was Jewish unless she told you. You know, um, one of those things. Uh, but uh, there was one time, I, I mean, I was, you know, I was in middle school. I probably wasn't a great kid. I was probably doing some stupid shit. And I remember her yelling at me from across the class, telling me, like, like I don't know if it was that I needed, needed to shut up. She didn't say shut up. But I don't know if I was just, I need to shut up or I need to start behaving or stop whatever I was doing or what now. That part's not important. <laughs> just reprimand followed by uh, before I give you the F that you deserve. And I even remember thinking back when I was seventh grade. I remember the back thinking when I was like what twelve, twelve, thirteen. That was just like, if I deserve an F, then why do I not have an F? <laughs> like what? That sentence doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I didn't respond. I just stopped doing whatever I was doing. Um, but like, I was, I was just thinking like, then why do I have a B? Is it, do, do you like me? Is that why you're giving me a grade that I shouldn't have? Or are you just, you're mad, so you're just reaching the straws? I don't know. What I, So I, I haven't seen really any crazy teachers and whatnot, but I mean, it exists out there. You know, teach, there's probably teachers out there that, like, you got you got look, gotta look at it from a different perspective here. Instead of just being like, well, these teachers are crazy, fuck them. It's like, some of them, sh- sure, a good percentage, sure. But a lot of them, it's just like, you know, when you're teaching in high school, especially middle school or younger, um, and like, you know, you spend all this time studying and getting a degree for a subject that you really, really care about, like that really interests you. And you're just like, I can't wait to teach it to other people. And, you know, to have, you know, to to share my love of this subject and like maybe do in a way that they'll find cool, even though they're teenagers and they don't give a fuck about anything that isn't attached to their cell phone. Uh, <laughs> and then you go there and like no one fucking cares everyone's acting out you know no one's <laughs> no one's taking anything seriously uh because kids don't care about education and whatnot uh, and it's like that, that could have some effects it's just like well fuck you guys you know what i mean so like that can start you on a spiral down a dark path for sure i could see you know also another thing you have to remind remind yourselves Another thing you have to remind yourselves is kids are fucking assholes. <laughs> Especially middle school. High school, I haven't had really any issues, which is why I would never want to teach in middle school. <laughs> um, like high school, there's a couple of kids, but middle school, you, you forget. Like, I don't know if your kids are perfect angels around you, or you just see small side effects of the kind of douchebag or asshole that your kid is. But then they go to school and there's they're not inhibited by the fact that their parents are there to whoop up their ass or whatnot. Um, the kids are fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> like I'm not gonna give a lot of examples, but I do remember the one time that I I mean like this is exactly why whenever someone's like we should give teachers guns, don't don't give me a gun. I will shoot your fucking kids. <laughs> I want it, but I would definitely think about it. I would just be sitting there, just like hand on, hand on the. I would say health, but that would be sort of, yeah. Uh, just, just holding the gun, just thinking like, oh man, just daydreaming like, yeah, pop, pop, pop. Oh god, if I, if only, if only I want to go to jail, kid, you'd be, you know. I definitely think about it. So don't, don't give teachers guns. You forget how fucking big of assholes you kids are. <laughs> but I remember there was a, there was one kid. I was, I was substituting for like, I think it was like. 
th- was it, th- it wasn't three months. I think it was three or four weeks. That must have been long. I oh, know six weeks. That's right, six weeks. Uh, for this for this math, uh, sixth grade, sixth seventh, yeah, sixth seventh grade. I think math class. I think it might have just been sixth grade. Uh, the worst <laughs> class for sure. Uh, and they had he had one class that was just the shit kids. Like a bunch of people that needed people there to to, 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 to to support them and keep them on track. Like tons of teacher aides and stuff. And I think there was even... No, there wasn't... No, it was from... Yeah, not necessarily developing, developmentally disabled, but adjacent. Almost. The kids that should have been in the developmentally disabled class. Um, and there was this one kid that just had issues. Like his, I'm sure his parents were not good to him, whatnot, and he was just he was harassing this one person. He wouldn't shut up. He was just saying a bunch of stupid shit, not caring, not paying attention, turning around, just all this stuff. And I was just like, dude, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't say that, but I thought about it. Uh, and he just he just I I shit you not. I don't remember if he was standing on his chair or sitting. I can't remember, but he looked at me. It was just like, what's wrong, teacher? Mad? Are you mad? <laughs> just like, I remember the seething hatred and rage that was boiling in my face. But I just kind of looked at him. And was just, I just, you know, I, you don't never give him a sign. You never let them know. You can't let them win. I just looked at him. And was like, dude, just get out. <laughs> just get out. Go to the detention room. Never come back. <laughs> He just kicked his ass out of the class and didn't have to deal with his ass. But, like, you gotta remember, you kids are fucking assholes. So that also could trigger a lot of teachers, kind of bringing it back to <laughs> back to this stuff. So, yes, there are some crazy-ass teachers out there that maybe just never lived up to their dreams. And it's just like, well, my parents did this, so I'll do it. You know, those teachers exist, and they, they, they're they not good teachers. Their heart's not in it, and they're not great. Um, but there are some really good teachers out there that understand that kids take school. <laughs> and so you got to meet them at their level and try to teach them in a way that actually relates to them, even though we have to teach subject matter that we don't want to. But, you know, that is... I mean, I don't because I teach music. <laughs> so if people sign up for my class and I get to teach whatever way I want because I beat the system. Go fuck yourself. But other subjects got to teach stuff that they don't want because the only way law schools get money is by these huge companies. Is like, you got to teach our material and take these tests so we can prove to the rest of the world that we're smart, even though we never actually do good on the ranking system. But that's a whole other subject that I could go into forever. So you got to get taught stuff that you would never use in your life, but... <laughs> this is not our fault. There's nothing we literally nothing we can do about that unless we all lose our jobs. So, anyways, that's my teacher spiel about kind of answering all this stuff. Is yeah, some of this is absolutely true. Uh, I I never I was lucky. I never really experienced it myself, and I've also seen a lot of amazing teachers when I've subbed for. But I've also seen a lot of not great teachers. It's it's very fifty fifty. I would say so. But yeah, I I can relate to this stuff. Just because I'm teacher doesn't mean I'm gonna be like, uh, no. <laughs> Teachers are angels. You guys just don't understand. There's a lot of stuff about the school system that is broken and needs to be fixed. But there's so little that you can do as an individual teacher. So, anyways, let's get into this music. That's what you you're here for. Uh, I'll probably, I'll put, I'll put chapters, <laughs> just to make it easier for the people who don't give a fuck about the, what, almost 10 minute story I just told, 15, let's be real, <laughs> 15 ish minute story I just told, uh, I'll put chapters in, well, you know, let's get back into the music, cause that's all it's gonna, it's gonna take another th- duration of time, so, wow, yeah, now coming back to thinking about this song, how fucking crazy good it was, okay, so let's see what what do I all have here before we have a time stamp? A couple things here. So what I have written down here is slow rap start, <laughs> which I then put above that OTEP with a question mark. Cause for a second there was like, cause I literally just got done 
a couple days ago with the OTEP album I was listening to, and I had to sit there for a second. I was like, am I listening to OTEP right now? <laughs> and definitely, like, it made me pause for a second. I was like, wait. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of cool. Followed by, uh, yeah, God, they had so many just pauses. Like, where time, st- uh, music would, all music would just stop. And then they'd fucking drop it back in. There was a lot of those that happened in different ways throughout this song. When they used them so well. So impactful and powerful. That was really fucking cool. Uh, and it was... Yeah, and it was an intentional pause before the screaming started. Before the screaming dropped. <laughs> and that was fucking cool change up in there i also liked that the not only beginning not start coming out the gate screaming which i thought was really nice uh because some of the songs do and for some of the songs it feels right but for other songs it's just like i like it when they start like uh, singing rather than screaming this beautiful singing and whatnot but they also started out with a little bit of a rap feel to it just fucking cool so let's let's get all that before it's all within the first minute here. So let's let's explore all that, shall we? And I'm not gonna make the joke. I want to. Every time I see it, I want to say it, but I'm not. I promised you I wouldn't say it. Again, so we're just moving past that. Everything is just heavy and slow just very dun 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 just very very long held notes followed by these very heavy down beats these very chunky just really heavy chords dun, dun, you know just creates this 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 almost tension like when you hear teacher in this you know it's going to be some kind of school related subject if you don't have the lyrics in front of you you're like, uh, is it going to be angry? Is it going to be fuck the school system? Or is it going to be positive? And when you're hearing this, this is like, oh, something's going to go down. Like, it's creating this great atmosphere in the first 10 seconds of the song. Under the first 10 seconds of the song, because Napoleon, Napoleon, Napalm, takes, Napoleon, Napalm takes out a good five or six seconds there. So within the first, like, five seconds of the song, you know something's going down. That's pretty fucking cool. And some of those are hitting on the offbeats. Ta-da! That's pretty cool, too. Ta-da-da! Ta-da-da! Just that flow, though. And just the kind of a little bit of that grit and grain she puts into her voice. Like, I can clearly tell that it's tatiana but it kind of sounds like otep a little bit too like because of the little because of that strain kind of that that graininess that she's got in her voice with a little bit of that decaying uh rise and fall to it it honestly really sounds like otep <laughs> it really sounds like uh dr shamaya is here on this song but that flow that she's got to it oh my god. Oh, let me hear that again. We have that introduction into this. This very cool, awesome flow rap start. <laughs> Blew me away. And then you had that dun dun, that, that, that long chord. It just really holds out again, kind of building this tension after what was just set up there. And then they drop it back in. Let me just rewind a few seconds here. I like that. The holies wor- worries, holies worries, like does it even it, it, like it, it, it pretty much rhymes, but because of the R and the L and the O L to the O R doesn't have the same kind of s- similar sound to it. 
and it's just kind of the ease with the ease kind of trying to rhyme but it, it works it has a little bit of rubbing tension to where it sounds like it's not gonna rhyme but it also does rhyme at the same time very interesting but i like how the last part is just kind of punched out i have no worries because it's not the same duration as the rhyme before it so it kind of it's almost like she hard commits to the fact that it's not going to meter up the same to fit the rhyme but she just does it anyways and it works and i like that that's really fucking cool um this is something we're gonna get into here yeah and like 20 seconds anyways uh but we'll just kind of introduce it i like the back and forth she has uh between that's about to happen when she has this beautiful singing that blends into screaming and then comes back and forth um and using certain parts when certain using the lyrics to decide of what part gets aggressive and what part goes back to soft depending on what's happening in the story that's being told is very much like the agonist but we'll get into that or at least an agonist song i could think of but we'll get back into that here in a second let's listen to this next part to kind of go over what i just what i was just talking about Yeah, this whole next part, I forgot, is also being spoken from someone else's point of view. Anyways. And there's that pause again. And then she said, and all sound stops. Like, again, building that anticipation, like, what did she say? And then it kicks back in again. God damn, this song's awesome. She pointed finger at me, and then she said... It also kind of has that 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 bouncy flow to it again. Dun 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 dun. dun. That's mmm. Yeah, I was like, Merciful's gonna go back to the singing voice, isn't it? Yeah. All right, that chunk there is just so not only well done, not only is it sung incredibly beautifully, and I love the contrast going back and forth between the heavy and the light while the instruments are generally staying heavy throughout the, the whole way through. Um, but like the instruments in no way, shape, or form are covering any of the beauty when she switches to her to her singing voice so well written in that regard but also artistically written as well throughout here so there's one quick line but i think it's really impactful the way elisa white gloves does this in um eh, nope not 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 the eulogies uh, I'm hearing the words of the song, but what is the title of the song? Oh, thank you, pain. That's right. <laughs> if I would have gotten to the chorus, I would have remembered. Thank you, pain. There it is. Anyways, great song. If you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. It's a fucking great song. Um, <clears throat> so... I love how she uses her screaming voice to kind of signif- signify, symbolize, uh, like the judges that are trying her for murder and whatnot. Um, and then goes to normal singing voice, singing, speaking voice when it's her defending herself. I love that contrast between the two, but when it kind of blends together at one point when she says, honorable judges, when she says, judges now honorable judges when she says the word judges she kind of bleeds back into the scream and then goes back to her singing voice just kind of be, just kind of be like you're not honorable so that part gets has a little bit of bite to it um uh, and yeah that contrast in between that entire song between her screaming and her singing using it intentionally for certain parts is fucking beautiful and extremely artistic 
Same thing with this song. Starts out beautiful. Dear Lord, forgive me as I am. And when she gets to the part that's brutal and almost evil where I'm slapping this child, that's when it gets that's when it starts screaming as she's describing what she's doing to this child. And later in the next one, when she's saying, I will show what is wrong, the scream kind of comes back in for parts of that during the repeating part, just like with the repeating slapping, slapping show, show. Um, and at the end, when it just gets all pretty dark, uh, choose your label because I'm mercy. Like, just because it's like, you're clearly not mercy. So that part's dark and screamed out. And then at the end, when mercy changes to merciful, she then goes back into that beautiful voice like I thought she would. And then at the end, when she's like, yo, put your knuckles on the table. I'm going to show you my friend, which I assume is a ruler named Feral. Fair rule, rule, ruler, like fair rule, feral. That's, a, that's actually a great name for a ruler. Actually, if I'm gonna be honest with you, that's a bitch name for a ruler. Um, that's 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 clever. <laughs> that's fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm, you're gonna meet my friend who's gonna punch you by wrapping the fuck out of those knuckles. Whole part screamed. It's whole parts dark and screamed. That is so fucking clever. That back and forth there being told from someone else's perspective is so fucking well written are you fucking kidding me how good that is let's hear that again most replayed i wonder why let's hear that again also not to discredit the instrumentalist during this part those this very chunky ta-da 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 kind of kind of notes and chords that are coming in there also really tasty really catchy like really good shit here the the instrumentalists are going out of their mind as well we can't discredit this Da, da, da. Like again, beautifully sung in here as well. Oh, oh my god. Do they hit that after or before she says it? Hold on, I got she. Okay, now I said 40, right? <laughs> I said 40. We haven't hit 40 yet. It's close, it's a few seconds off, but. But yeah, I said minimum 40, right? I, uh, what, what world was I thinking 40? We're, we're looking for 60 plus here. Anyways, I told you to get your snacks and drinks, right? You should have listened. Now it's too late. You can't pause it now. Like It's it's too, it's, it's, it's over for you. You should have done it before. Uh, <laughs> I got to hear when those dickadums came in there. Hold, oh, I'm on the wrong page. Hold on. Let me, let me get that. Yeah, I think they're doing it at the same time as her. When she's saying mercy, that ta-ta, they go ticka-ta, ticka-ta, at the same exact time, really emphasizing those words, the screamed out words. Duh, duh. Oh, that's good. That's good shit right there. And it's on the offbeat as well. Mercy, mercy. I say, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking nuts. Okay, we. I could stay on. I could go through this whole fucking song. Uh, which. <laughs> probably. Yeah, no, I'm kind of. I kind of did. Because uh, I forgot how long that went on. So I got 130, approximately two seconds out here. <sighs> Let's see what we got in here. Uh, yeah, the pause into the chorus. Or the breakdown of the chorus. I, I said break into course i could mean like a break as a pause or a breakdown because they did write break later to mean an instrumental breakdown anyways uh <laughs> let's see uh break into chorus i don't know why i said a mix oh mix of singing and rapping that's why i said mix i was like breaking the chorus mix what the chorus what the fuck does that mean uh what <laughs> I don't think it will matter if I know what every single word is. I think I know what I'm looking for here. 
But, uh, yep, don't know what that says. It looks like it says gr gr Govium. Maybe we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, no, I'd, you know what? And the end of the chorus, that's the only other part I can read. <laughs> uh, there's a lot that's going to happen here. I guess that's the important part to take away from that. There's a lot that's going to happen here. So let's just listen to this fucking chorus because it's. It was crazy, so let's listen to it. Yeah, that 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 little that beautiful guitar sound in there. I don't even know how to describe that because again, I'm not very great with strings, but it almost sounds very sweeping, uh, just very kind of like empty, like not empty, void of kind of time signature. It's just free formed out there. Just is very just kind of this very sweeping sound to it, and then it just breaks it into the chorus, which is. Beautiful, if I remember correctly. I also like that she keeps time with her, uh, with with her, uh, with her leg. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a common habit that you kind of kind of have to break because, like, it's good but also bad to do, especially in an actual performance. But it's kind of better to feel the rhythm instead of like keeping it with your foot because you might be off and then you might get other people off. But you can see her like pulsing out the rhythm as she's singing with her leg there. It's pretty cool. It's just as a musical perspective, I think that that's really, that's really cool. Yeah. Mm. Oh, out of her way. Ugh, okay, I got I got part of the sentence. I don't know what what happened right before there. Yeah, I think what the whatever the other word was supposed to mean was just kind of the way she's playing with the end of these phrases and the end of these sentences. And it's the way, like, you can clearly hear she's singing, but that flow and rhythm she's getting back in there is kind of almost has this, like, spoken rap-like feel to it at the same time, which is incredible. And what I was saying here, which I have I've said many times throughout Ginger Songs, and, like, I don't want it to reflect badly on the instrumentalists because as i've said many times they they're what they do is so complex like and they're flying through a fucking shitload of notes but also not make it sound like just most of the time make it not sound like it's just a wall of sound it's absolutely incredible they're amazing musicians every fucking single one of them is an amazing musician uh, I don't want to discredit them whatsoever, and I also don't want to make it seem like it's just the Tatiana show, just get out of her way. But in these sections where they just get out of her way and let her just do what she does and take herself to the next level, it, it sounds almost beyond incredible. Like, <laughs> so I don't want to say it's only about Tatiana instruments, get the fuck out of her way, but like, when they do though, it's like, oh my god. Uh, it's just like she's just fucking playing with these phrases adding all these embellishments and just beautiful notes in there just taking these melodies to the next level it's just it's just pure and fucking gorgeous that might be gorgeous i think i put it gorgeous i think that's what that word is uh, which is why i think yeah that's what i think i meant that doesn't look like gorgeous by the way it looks like a y <laughs> anyways let me let me hear that example of just kind of how just like open notes and chords are just kind of happening. There's occasional little interjections here and there in between when she's either done with her phrase or just holding out a note. Just by the fucking book, amazing here. That's beautiful. What the fuck? Uh. 
Just maybe fools too. And the end of the chorus. Yeah, that's what I meant by the end of the chorus. Uh, you have this whole beautiful open spacey, just gorgeous playing around on the uh, on this chorus for the vocal line. Tatiana just making it beautiful and gorgeous. And then as she's delivering that last line of because teachers may be fools too, or the I think so, or don't let the school make a fool of you. One of those two, I don't remember which one it is. Uh, you know, like you can feel the tension starting to rise. It starts to get heavier until the, all the instruments come back in, just just start shredding again. Like the way that not only Tatiana's vocal line, but also the instruments start to like build up the fact that it's 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 about to change again. It's about to get heavy again. We're bringing it back. The way they set that up and build it into it so it doesn't just happen is like that's that's next level writing right there like that is just that's what we like to go on the channel good fucking writing that's good shit right there their tattoos are awesome I just, every time i look at i'm just like god damn she just looks more even more of a badass with her tattoos it's just really cool Mm, that kind of like stress that she has on that last note mm, gorgeous and we're back with those blast beats god I feel for the drummer when he's got to do that because you literally have to hit both within a fraction of a second from each other not so you're not hitting both the cymbal and the drum at the same time or the snare at the same time you have to do that hit one like split second after the other and then keep doing that i just like i feel like all the tension just building in my arms when i do that it hurts to think about that is very hard not that it's easier on the guitars by any means but like god i feel for the drummer that's that's so much movement and quick timing that's crazy anyways moving along because we don't need to be here over in an hour we're getting close though um 215 What's that? The whole song. <laughs> now there is a gap. No, I don't think there is. Maybe there might be. Uh, Two fifteen here. Uh, the instrumental breakdown. Yeah, this is just yeah, this this is crazy shit. Let's listen to it. I just love the very chunky, just very separated. Uh, no, not only rhythm, but. Uh, just chords that they got going on here. It's just like it's very, it's very heavy. It's very just very punched and just very chunky. It just it sounds so fucking good. Like let's let's be real. Ah. And a switch back and forth between that blast and da, 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 and then just da, 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 you know kind of moving back and forth between that. That is just as this is this is great. I, I love the rhythms that they're playing with in here. It sounds fantastic. And it's such a headbanging moment. Whew, okay, <sighs> two fifty-five. I don't know what I said. Oh, I think I said pause. I think this is pause. Uh, so we, I think we had another awesome pause in here. So we'll go around 250 and see what happened. What was impactful about this pause? Why I wrote it down? Let's find out. Yeah, because it just happens out of nowhere. Ding, ding, ding. It's just, it's just a quick stop of literally all sound stops and boom it just punches back in and she's already being a little bit aggressive and kind of going back to a little bit more of that rap style uh the, that, that otep style i don't know <laughs> i think there's a lot of contention between otep fans and ginger fans i only i base that purely off of one person who commented on one of my otep videos being like oh everyone's all ginger this ginger that but otep's really the good one or something like that it's just like hey they're both good. We don't need to punch one down to rise the other up. We don't do that around here. Uh, so ginger fans don't do the same. <laughs> don't fall for the trap. <laughs> They're both amazing for their own reasons. Um, 
but uh yeah that, that, that rap in that kind of that he- it's already heavy and aggressive but they like cut off all sound and they come back even more aggressive by turning it into a uh, to that vocal fry scream in there well done well played it cuts off on the upbeat which kind of creates this like free fall and punch back into the downbeat it makes it even more effective when they come back into the downbeat fuck yes all right 330 (laughs) we can actually cut forward a little bit here uh what we got here the yeah the second course, I don't know if I'll be able to remember, but the second time they went back through the course, I felt like they changed it up. It felt really different. It felt even more beautiful, if that's even possible. I don't know how. Uh, oh, yeah. No, this is where we had a million pluses. This is the last two things, but this one might take a while. <laughs> so, let's say it's the second course, different, question mark, plus soft air, which I'll explain that more when we get there, plus beautiful vocals. Oh, I mean, that kind of goes without saying. Plus, that tap in the bass when he was tapping that shit. Dude, could you, come on now. Uh, plus, soulful, more energy, I think is what I said. Yeah, that's all we got on that. Pretty much this whole section just went somewhere I did not expect it to. And it just kept going and going and going, being more beautiful, more unique than I've ever heard from them before. Well, maybe not ever, ever, but then what I expected it really to go in this song. Let's listen to that, shall we? Yeah, so I think the vocal lines, if not the same, very similar, but I, th- I feel like the guitars are doing something a little bit different in here. Like, because they kind of, they kind of had that, like, the airiness, but with a little bit of notes here and there, and you know, kind of stuff going on. I don't know, it sounds different. I don't remember the first chorus was 130, so we got 330 and 130-ish. Let me, let me hear this. I got, I got to figure this out. Hold on. Similar so far. Okay, the vocal line is the same, but the guitar is not. Hold on. It still has that open airiness, but I think he adds these little notes in there. So, okay, we have that. We have that fresh in our ears. Let's go back to 330 ish here. Yeah, I, I feel like the, the 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 chords are like slightly different. I don't know, they feel like they have more airiness to it, but just adding that little kind of like really soft like little guitar passage in there is I feel like it's taking it to the next level. The fuck? Okay. I love that. I feel like she made that like she almost like brought it down to a whisper. Like, oh, that's fucking gorgeous. Let's go. Mm. Mm, We'll switch up there. And okay, first off. That's one hell of a chorus right there. That's like fucking gorgeous ass chorus. Like it's one of my favorite choruses I think I've ever heard from them. First off. Second off. <laughs> now we're getting into this next part here that just feels like it yeah, it feels like it's getting even softer, even more kind of airy and just free of rhythm. <sighs> okay. It's like you know what's a good song? When I'm going through it, I'm just getting exacerbated by how fucking how it just keeps impressing me. I live for these songs. I live for when I find these songs. It's just like, how is it this good? Because, like, just go watch the last song, and you'll know I don't hold back. <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't give a fuck what people are gonna think or how they're gonna respond. 
if I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. So when 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 this happens, well, I'm just like blown away. Just like how can it get even better? How is it still getting better and better when I thought it was like at the pinnacle of amazing? You know I'm fucking serious. Like you know I'm being legit. Like I don't I don't act up any of this shit. Like this is blowing my mind. <sighs> It's just so smooth and beautiful. And and I remember hearing this. Like, I don't know what's playing this because it, it's not showing any of them playing this. I feel like it's a bass. We hear that kind of going on behind. It sounds like a bass notes in there. But yeah, no, it's just, it sounds like, it sounds like something I would hear in like a video game or something. Like you're going through like this big, like beautiful maybe crystal place you're just like a big open plain it's just this beautiful it's kind of like this beautiful airiness to it it doesn't sound like we in ginger anymore <laughs> it's like different than i feel like anything i've ever heard from them and that's fucking cool but listen let's see if we can hear that kind of stuff going on in there it's very quiet So beautiful. Right, that's why I said beautiful vocal. <laughs> that's why I made a point of it, because it's like, I mean, what part? Choose all of it. She gets even softer with her vocals. Makes them even more just pristine and just just, just golden delicious. It's the word that came to mind, so I'm gonna stick with it. Oh shit, I gotta restart the video again. Okay, we're entering 60-minute territory, but don't worry. We're almost done. We got one more thing after this whole thing. We just got two more lines to this one, and we got one last thing. So we're almost there. <laughs> Is it, You know, if you see a super long video from me, I either really disliked it, or I fucking super loved it. So, I mean, I feel like you should get excited when you see how long the duration of the video is. That's all I'm saying when it comes it's coming from me. Anyways, especially if it's one of your favorite groups. Okay, let's let's okay. Let's back up a little bit. Oh, you always on the wrong one way start. Um, let's back up a little bit and let's hear these vocals. Holy shit! Again, not what I expected to come out here. That's so cool. <sighs> Hold on. Let's give this bassist his due here. He may, as I've said, as I said in the last album, he may have his bass guitar up like he's in the Beatles, going like this and stuff, but like, who cares when he's playing it like that? As I've said before, I think it's because he's going so fast that just having it here creates more power in the strumming and the way you can slap it a little bit easier than if it was down here and he had to try to get all that power. You got a lot more energy, or a lot more room to be more aggressive when it's closer higher up that i think than when it's down below I mean, you can still make it happen but i feel like it's just easier for him to maneuver so that's why i assume he does it. i just love how it feels like it's almost up in his face it's so high up man <laughs> it feels like it would be uncomfortable but hey you gotta do what you gotta do anyways let's give this basis his due man because that's fucking cool That slide he does on it? God damn, son. Mmm. This rumble is a motherfucker. It's gorgeous. Yeah, this is the part that I said, soulful, more energy. She kind of adds some grit into her voice. The instrument start kicking up. It, it, kicking more up here we're getting now that airiness and now they're bringing it back and focusing it back into some more energy and aggression in there like let's fucking go which opens her up to be even more soulful and passionate with it get that grit and grain in her voice just to really start uh belting it out let's fucking go mm. Just 
still going. She, she, she won't stop. This is her stage. Let's go. Bring it down to that almost whisper. Before. I think it kicks back up here. No, it's the end. Well, it does kick back up here. Right. Which, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And the last thing we have here. 530. Uh, that surprise ending, though. I thought that that was it. I thought it was just going to fade out and be done. But no. They had a surprise ending. Plus, this little bass note that's in here. I'll pause it when we get there. But yeah. Just this surprise outro, though. So yeah, pretty much the whole song. So we skip maybe 30 seconds here. <laughs> now I see this one coming. But I ain't mad about it. So it's happening, but he hasn't showed it yet. Bing! Like he really gives that no hell. He, you've heard it at least two or three times before he before he shows it, but I didn't notice it till he showed it. Just bing! Does he really fucking just? Mm, plucks the shit out that note. Make it really stand out. Me really accented in there. Let's go. Fuck yeah, dude. So I remember why it was. It made me feel like is this my favorite one yet? Because it has that passionate, crazy belt. Like in Speak Astronomy, I still think she gets a little crazier with it in Speak Astronomy. However, that's giving it a run for its money. Like that end though, the way it switches back and forth has that oat. The journey this song goes on has that Otep like rapping, the agonist like using screaming to symbolize certain parts to tell a story and make it artistic blend the beautiful blend back and forth between singing and screaming that i love this gorgeous airy part that gets even softer and more beautiful and open somehow and then she just starts passionately belting the end out until it slowly just kind of whisper fades away and then punches you in the face again with this awesome metal with amazing bass notes throughout the whole thing like you know what i think we're gonna make a claim right here Guys, I think we have my favorite <laughs> Ginger song yet. Like, yeah. Like, definitely, since they roll over and I speak astronomy, we're definitely like my top two. I think this, I definitely gonna say this one beats it. Like, th this one is my new favorite Ginger song. <laughs> this song has everything, man. It goes everywhere. I'm just, yeah, I live for these songs, man. <laughs> like, I go through a lot of songs that, you know, maybe a little bit repetitive, maybe a little bit like, okay, you know, it's, it's pretty good. I liked it. It was good. And then occasionally I'll get hit with a song that I love so much that I won't stop talking about almost every aspect of it until an hour is up. And those are the songs I live for, man. <laughs> Those are the songs that just hit me where I live, dude. That's, oh, God, yeah, that's good. That's good shit. Ape was great, but that song, though, that song, though. All right, we got two more songs here to go. Uh, one's an instrumental. The last one's an instrumental. The next one, Perennial. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. Um, which, I, I don't know necessarily what that word means. I'm going to look it up while we're talking here. Um, but I mean, it just sounds like parental to me. So that's what I'm thinking it means, but I probably am not correct. Uh, so the first thing that shows up is a falcon and a flower. I'm pretty sure I'm not correct. Uh, <laughs> lasting or existing for a long, a long or apparently infinite time enduring or continually reoccurring. His perennial distrust of the media is the example there. Uh, yeah, a perennial is also a plant. So that makes sense why the flower showed up, and I'm sure it's a, it's a some kind of falcon named the perennial falcon or some shit. I'm sure that's why a falcon showed up. 
didn't look like a falcon but that's the name it said anyways okay so good okay got it got it uh and it says suicidal in here at some point when she kills herself and with those two words and knowing that the thumbnails it looks like a picture of a child or like like a young i guess like five to eight year old girl uh for the music video i think we're in for a crazy time which i'm here for so next is perennial i will but by the way if you didn't know that has nothing to do with paternal uh, uh, I mean, technically, you could argue that even when your parents pass, technically, your parents will be your parents. Like, technically, the ones who created you perennially, like, throughout history, that is just going to be a perennial fact. I'm just putting that one out. Anyways, uh, by the way, that has nothing to do with that. Next song is perennial, and I will see you for it. 